Okay, so in this question, an object is projected vertically upwards at t is equal to zero. Air resistance is negligible. The object passes the same point above its starting position at times two seconds and eight seconds. So basically what is happening, there is this object and we have uh, thrown it in the upward direction. So it moves like this and then it comes down like this. So let us say this position is A, it started and it reached point B after two seconds and it went to the highest position. Let me name it C, although it is not required. And then it reaches back to the point D and then it reaches back to the point A, that is E. So this is the total journey, like it moves from A to B to C to D and then to E. Now it is saying that the body has taken two seconds when it is moving from A to B. And when it is moving from A to D, the body has taken eight seconds and it has achieved the same horizontal position, that is B and D, they are at the same horizontal position. So this is what is happening now. So in this kind of question, what we do is we apply the same uh, formula for the displacement as given by uh, Newton in kinematics, like us is equal to ut plus half at square. And there are two directions. These equations are always vector equations. So we need to have directions in it and we need to give assign signs to all these directions like one direction will be chosen as positive another will be chosen as negative it will be depending totally on you whether whatever you want like um, we take gravity as negative and the velocity the upward direction as positive so uh, for the distance a b when it goes to a b i can write s1 here so s1 is u into t because after two seconds it reaches that position ut plus half gravity will be taken as negative and it is written that g will be taken as 10 so i have taken minus 10 negative because now it is in the downward direction and the time is 2 so this is s1 similarly s2 s2 is now after eight seconds its position is at d so what is the net displacement now because uh, a will be treated as the origin. So the net displacement is now always to be recorded from point A only. So that will be eventually equal to S1. So it will be U into 8 plus half minus 10. And the time taken is 8 seconds. So these are the two different equations which we have created for the two different cases. That is when the body is moving from A to B and then the body is coming back to D. And it says that both of these displacements are equal to each other. So let us equate them and we will find the value of u. Let us subtract them. That will be better. This will be 0. 8u minus 2u is 6u plus half minus 10. It will come out to be 64 minus 4. That, that will be 60 divided by 2 it will be 30 into it will be 300. So 6u is equal to 300 and u will come out to be equal to 50 meter per second. Yes. So this is the answer and the answer will be A. And uh, so the point to be noted in this question is that this is a very simple question, but this equation is not a scalar equation this is a vector equation so whenever we substitute the values in it we substitute the values with the sign convention so sign convention becomes a very very important point okay all the best this is varun